sind genau da. Currently reading boy parts. Weird, weird book. Really weird. Finishing this book now. This book is weird. I can't recommend it. But if you're into weird books, maybe give it a try. <laughs> Restarting your island is one thing, but it being winter reminding me of the good old 2020 days sitting inside and doing nothing but grinding Animal Crossing. <laughs> It is Monday. I'm currently working on a illustration. Nearly done, but I'm putting down this book because it is the worst. I really don't like the writing, the characters, the story about the... I don't know. I don't like anything about this book, so I'm gonna make true of my statement and put it down, not finish it, even though I already re read 130 pages maybe, but it's not gonna get better. I know that I will not enjoy reading it, so I got two books, two used books, and uh, this is the second one of the Once Upon a Broken Heart series and I'm excited to continue. I do want to say I really enjoyed the first one but it's not a five star read. It's not one of my favorites of all time but it was a very nicely written cute fantasy series. tomorrow we will see. I did sketch the whole day basically. I sketched for a illustration which could be the front of the thank you card. I don't know yet. I'm about 130 pages in. I started it yesterday night or yesterday afternoon after I got the package and um, it is nice. I like um, the story itself, the way it's written as hard for me to get into it's not really gripping me and you don't really get an insight into the characters 
and it's more written like a fairy tale but I'm gonna leave now to get coffee and a walk and I probably am not gonna be working after that other coffee's empty already so I'm just gonna go different kind of setup. Good morning. Welcome to my Monday and I wanted to show you what I read this past week. I finished The Wrath and the Dawn and I did not like it. I did not enjoy it. I felt like it was written pretty nicely in the beginning. Felt like a fairy tale of sorts but I couldn't really connect to the characters because it was written in that way and I did not care how the story turned out so I'm not going to continue with the second book then I went to the library and got three books one of which is downstairs I got the newest book by Emily St. John Mandel which I really really enjoyed her book I think it's called Station Eleven which was nice and I want to reread it and then I got this because I need a easy book to read, kind of a palette cleanser, if you will, and something that makes me feel I can fly through the pages. And um, I did enjoy this series as a teenager, but I don't think I ever finished it. Yesterday afternoon, I finished Survive the Night by Riley Sager. It's downstairs, so I can't show you, but. I I did I did like the beginning but as always the end did not surprise me and this time I saw the ending coming because it was to me very obvious who who the killer was and I don't know if it's just me or if any everyone saw that coming but I I don't know I'm going to go to work now I don't know what I want to do today. I know I have to order some stuff for my shop and Patreon and I want to draw a bit, sketch a bit and I also need to start three pattern designs this week.
it's a bit dirty at the edges, but I don't know if you can clean this because I had this as a child and I wanted to play this again. some stickers for my Nintendo DS Lite. I opted for drawing a lot of characters and put them on a square and now I can cut them out and stick them onto here and I wanted to make these with a gradient so I'm just gonna use one and the rest will be for uh, sometime else. Welcome to the Hyunam Dong bookshop and it's very cute. Um, it's a very slow read though. I can't really read more than 20 pages at once and I'm about halfway through. This is the first time in a while that I, you know, bookmarked or donkey-eared some of the pages. I know some people don't like that but I love doing the this to my own books. I just may think it makes it feel red and I also took out the pen and underlined some sentences and I haven't been doing that in such a long time and it feels so good and this book I really I don't know if I love it but I think it's a really nice book it makes you feel warm inside a little bit uh, I expected a little bit more of that warm, fuzzy feeling, but uh, still a very nice book. Now I think I'm gonna go on a walk because the sun is out. <laughs>
welcome to the Hyunam Dong bookshop. I do think I enjoyed this. I felt it was missing a little bit. It felt, sometimes it felt a little bit too much like a self-help book and not a novel. I would say if I would give it a star rating, I think I would aim for four stars. It's not gonna be one of my favorite books that I'm gonna reread if I'm sad. On that note, I was also thinking, I read this a while ago, What You're Looking For is in the Library, not Korean but Japanese. Kind of similar but also very different, but this one I really really loved and it is a five star read for me. Uh, so if you want to read something about library, bookshop, I would say read this one, but also this one is also good. Mm -hmm.